Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are back with another YouTube Artist Collective piece and this month's theme was Zodiac Signs. So I decided to draw my own sign which is the Taurus. So I'm also going to be discussing a topic in today's video but firstly I just want to say that all the materials that I'm using in today's video will be linked in the description below as always. So if you want to see any of the materials that I'm using and find where you can find them then it will be in the description. Also, if you want to get prints or the original of this, they are available over on my website, which is www.kirstypartridge.com, and I'll also leave a link to that in the description as well. So the topic that we're going to be talking about today is something that I get loads of comments about, which is I can't draw, or I'll never be as good as you, or what's the point in trying, I can't do it, stuff like that. But firstly, I just want to say that if you want to check out all of the other guys uh, pieces in the YouTube Artist Collective they're all amazing so I'll leave all of their channels in the description below. I highly recommend that you go and check out all of their amazing work and they all spend so much time creating these pieces so they're really worth looking at and if there's a playlist where they're all kind of in one playlist then I'll link that down as well. So what I'm doing for my piece is, because it was a Taurus sign, the Taurus is a bull, so I decided to do a bull kind of skull on half of her face and I'm giving her like a bull ring piercing and because it's an earth sign I've done lots of like green and flowers and stuff like that just to make it very earthy. So that's what my take on this theme was. So on to today's topic and I've noticed a lot lately when I've been doing my tutorial videos that I'm getting a lot of comments from people saying how they feel like they can't draw and when they see the tutorials they just feel like um, like they just feel demotivated because they feel like they'll never be able to achieve that or they'll say oh I'm just not naturally talented enough to draw like that like draw realistically and so they kind of stop themselves from progressing and I just wanted to give my opinions on this topic and kind of give you guys a bit more motivation and hopefully give you a bit of encouragement through some of my thoughts today. So yeah I do get a lot of comments saying that people think that they're not talented enough to draw and that it's just some sort of talent that you either have or you don't have and I completely don't think that's the case. The way I think about it is you might have a tendency to be slightly more naturally better at it. So for example, if you are good at observation and observing things, then you might find it a bit easier to draw. But that doesn't mean that if you don't have those natural instincts that you can't draw and that you're doomed to failure. If you think about when you're at school and there'll be certain lessons, so say maths or English, you might have been really good at maths, really good at problem solving and just found it really easy to pick up and you were really good at it. But that doesn't mean that if you didn't naturally find it good that you could never be good at maths because a lot of people just work really hard and keep practicing and they can get good at it and it will click and they'll understand it. And that's because you're building up those skills. So it's the same thing with drawing. Drawing is all about observing, looking at the shadows, the highlights, looking at the anatomy and learning that sort of stuff. And that is something that you're going to have to work at. It's a skill, it's not just a talent. So when people say, oh, it's just a talent, you know, you're born with it, you're naturally gifted. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you can be naturally good at art, but a lot of it is because you're putting in a lot of hard work and a lot of artists are spending many hours just sitting, drawing and practicing. So if you want to be really good, then you can be. It just means that you have to put in so much time and effort to get where you want to be. So another side of it is when people say, that they feel like they might as well not even try because they're never going to be able to get there. And I think that's just something that's like a mental um, sort of block that you're putting on yourself. You're already thinking of yourself as really low that no matter how much you're going to practice, you're probably gonna be disappointed with your results because you aren't confident in yourself and you already think that you're going to fail before even trying. So what I just wanted to say is that I don't think and drawing is just a talent. You can definitely learn it. No matter if you're awful at it now and you can't draw anything, that doesn't mean that you can't be a phenomenal artist a few years down the line. Just keep practicing and 
just keep up the drawing don't let it kind of get on the back burner and just forget about it just keep practicing and you will be able to get where you want to go if you do just practice 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 and watch lots of youtube videos and tutorials they definitely help and just yeah persevere with it and i definitely think that anyone can draw anyone can be able to draw no matter what style you want to draw in you can do it if you just put in the time so yeah, that's all I want to say on that topic. And now I want to talk a bit more about the actual drawing that I'm doing and how I'm doing that. So what I did first is I put a base layer down of watercolors. So I just kind of got in some base tones, some shadows and built up like an under base with watercolors. And then I'm going over the top with colored pencils. And I like to use the colored pencils to kind of render everything and just really make it all crisp. So for example, with the eyes, I added all the details, all the eyelashes with colored pencils and same with the hair. So I really like to just build up all of the main details with the colored pencils. When you're using it on this paper, so it's the watercolor paper, the color pencils aren't as smooth on this paper as they are on, for example, the Strathmore Bristol uh, smooth surface paper. So I did have to kind of use some solvent in certain places and also burnish with a colorless blender so that I wasn't adding more pigment, but I was kind of smoothing out some of those grainy looking areas of colored pencil because I really didn't want to add colored pencil everywhere. I wanted to leave areas of the face where it was more blank and it didn't have lots of watercolor paint on it. So now I'm just going in with that solvent. I used it on the flowers to get rid of the grainy look and also a bit on the hair. And then I go over it and add the highlights because solvent is really good at blending the color pencil and also making it so that you're able to put loads and loads of layers on top. So I did use a reference photo for this drawing. I took a reference photo of myself and I changed it so it didn't look like myself. But I always recommend that if you want to draw something realistically and you have a certain pose in mind that you want to do, then just take a picture of yourself doing it. And then you can slightly tweak kind of, you know, the shape of the nose or the, the thickness of the lips. So it doesn't look like you, but you'll know where basically all of the main features are placed and it'll give you a better kind of understanding on how everything is positioned and angled. So now I'm just going in and darkening up the hair. I really enjoyed working on this piece and another thing that I'd really like you guys to comment is would you like to see more of these types of videos where I talk about certain topics or I do more speed paints rather than just tutorials because if I'm honest I feel like my videos can be a bit of the same sort of thing all the time and I'd like to mix it up a bit but I'd like to know if you guys would like to see more of this type of video or if you have any other opinions, I'd love to hear them. So please comment down below any kind of suggestions that you have, whether you like this style of video or whether you just like the tutorials, just feel free to comment any of your opinions. So now what I'm doing is I'm actually using a new product which is Archival for Colour Pencils. So I'm not using gouache and I'm not using a white gel pen. I am using the um, brush and pencil, colour pencil, touch up texture and titanium white powder. And I used an empty gel pen to dip the pen in that ink so that I could um, get really crisp edges. So that's a new product that I'm trying and I really, really like it. Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. Remember to go and check out all of the other ladies' beautiful pieces that they've done for this Zodiac theme. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember if you want to get this original or a print of it, then they are available on my online store, which is at kirstypartridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!